At you Collector 117 coming to you with another video review and today I have Lockdown from Transformers 4 Age of Extinction. Here he is next to Optimus Knight. As you can see he's slightly shorter. I'm not 100% sure how movie accurate the size is. He does feel a little small especially next to like you know the likes of Megatron. However next to Optimus he does not look too much smaller. I will watch the movie later today and determine, you know, if the size uh, is accurate. But, uh, you know, there he is in the exact same pose as that movie poster, just doing the, the walk. That scene was incredibly epic in the movie when he was just walking. Uh, you know, it was just so cool looking. He shot the gun out of his face and uh, technically to match the poster exactly, I do need to put on the visor head, which I will show you shortly. I do plan to get the additional dogs because it actually does fit. I did check it and it will fit. So I will get the additional steel jaw. I'll have that next week. And I'll make a short video review on that. But let's go ahead and check out Lockdown. I am super, super, super happy to finally have this in my collection. So let's check out the base. You know, it's your... You know, this is somewhat different than the other Transformer bases, which all had that type of look. You know... Uh, this one, more, it does have a good lockdown look to it, I would say. Very detailed, quite big. Uh, you know, it has this logo, which is, you know, removable. Simple knob here that goes in. I do like the look, how it's not the Decepticon, but the Transformer 4 logo. It's quite big. It's about 19 inches deep. 19 inches wide. This shelf is 24 inches wide, so there's some extra space. Let's check out the still jaw. So he had this on his ship that played a pretty good role. These are quite heavy and very detailed. You know, you can see how they have this like green uh, sort of just goo coming out of their mouth. I think it'd be cool if they did put a light up feature in the eyes. They did not. However, they are very detailed. Awesome paint job. They have like a green look look to them on the sort of like fur super super cool very muscular looking dogs this one's just grinning the other one has an open mouth yeah these are super cool definitely gonna get the additional ones I'm gonna order that t immediately after this video review so let's check out lockdown so here's his feet paint app on this is phenomenal you know the weathering effect you know on the feet looks superb this looks like real metal see the scars on this chest tons of detail this thing's freaking bad a look at that face let me show you guys the light up feature. So it's a button on the back. We just focus the camera. Boom. And you can sort of like move it side to side. But I'm just going to have it looking straight. Let me show you from a distance. Let me show you the whole Transformer collection here. Fits in perfect. Looks amazing with that poster as well. Super satisfied. Yeah, the detail on this is really good. It looks like real metal, and there's just so much little detail you can see, you know, in the chest area, the arms. Light up looks great. Let me show you the switch out head. So this just comes off quite easily. Out visor head, uh, which is just like it is in the poster. I wish the light up was a little bit brighter, but overall it does look cool to have him have that visor head. Basically it's the same light up as the other, it just has the visor head coming over. See the detail, you know, it looks like real glass, like he's, there's lots of like little writings on the glass, like he's looking through it and it's analyzing maybe the distance of Optimus calculation. Let's go ahead and put on some of the switch out parts. Alright, so here is the exclusive hand with the open hand. 
So let's look at this further. So it just fits into the regular arm and it's basically just a hook. It looks pretty cool. And then the open hand. I definitely prefer the fist over the open hand. I'm probably not going to use the open hand that much. I will use the exclusive. I do think that looks pretty cool. I think this will look better with the fist instead of the open hand. So let me show you that. All right, there you go. So light up on fist hand with the exclusive. This is a very cool look, so I definitely would display it like this. For right now, I'm probably gonna display the gun hand, which I'll show you guys in a second. I've even looked at that myself, but this is definitely a really cool look and I could definitely dig this. So there you have it. Let's go ahead and look at the gun hand now with the fist. Alrighty folks, there you have it, the gun hand. It looks super sick with the gun hand, I like that. I'll probably keep it like this for right now. I really like that look. I'm just gonna push the statue back a little, put two more dogs and call it a day. Super, super cool. The walking pose is just as equally cool, but I really do like this look. Gotta say, this is an amazing statue. I give it a 10 out of 10. The detail, the whole pose and look, the fact you get these two still jaws, it's just phenomenal. Prime Run blew this out of the park. You know, it looks just like, you know, he's coming out of the spaceship with the movie poster behind it. Really like that look. Let me just turn off the light up function. Now, I wish we could have statue have light up on constantly. Unfortunately, you know, batteries were out. Hopefully someday the technology will be invented to have a light up feature on 24 seven. Cause that, how sick would that be to have an Iron Man statue or the Transformers on 24 seven every time you look at it. I think it'd be awesome. Overall though, uh, Lockdown is incredibly cool. The detail, the paint, the sculpt is flawless. You know, it is 3D sculpted directly from the movie. Prime One did an excellent job with the pose, the switch out parts. No, just like look at the detail on that gun. Super cool. Really does look like real metal. And you can see, uh, I forget what car he transformed into. I think it was like a, a Mercedes or something. But he did transform into a smaller car, which would indicate the correctness of his size because he transformed into a sports car where Optimus transformed into a giant truck. So you know, I believe the size is correct, and I doubt Prime One would undersize him. Still draws look super cool on the base. Definitely going to get two additional ones. You know, he is on top of the Stuva, in case you guys are asking. That is the shelf from Ikea. It is no longer sold, so... Let's go ahead and put on the regular head now. Alright, there's the regular head. Slight adjustment. Boom. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Looks so cool. This is shipping now and available at Sideshow Toy. The exclusive is sold out. We can get the regular edition. The exclusive is just the, you know, the hand I showed you earlier with the hook. So it's not a huge deal if you don't get it, you know, because I'm probably going to display the hook hand 10% of the time. I'll mostly display the gun and then just the walking double fist. There you have it, folks. Uh, you know, this is an amazing statue. It helps complete my Transformer collection, which I absolutely love. These are some of my most detailed and favorite statues. I'm incredibly happy to have Lockdown. I'm going to go open up some more statues and boxes I did get today. Hope you all enjoyed this video review. Make sure you check out the unboxing if you didn't and all my other videos. Got uh, some other awesome stuff coming in. So like, comment, subscribe. Hope you all had a great day.